Welcome to the 11th episode of my first ever Let's Play featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. I just defeated a force of, uh, well, a force coming from Hanover, who decided it was a good idea to attack my army, for which they pay dearly. However, I did lose a lot more troops than I had to, because I chose to make it a bit more interesting. However, as you can see, I did not lose a single unit, even though I lost a lot of people in my units, which is good, because I can just retrain everyone. And, uh... Yeah, as you can see in the stats, let's see who. I'm um, interesting who got the most kills here. A line infantry unit actually got the most kills, and a regiment of horse did quite well as well. Hmm. How did my battery do? 12 pound 33. They killed a lot more than the howitzers did, didn't they? That's surprising because I would assume that. Uh, oh, yes, of course, I used canister shot. That explains it. Because I would assume that. Uh, Exploding shot will be quite good against uh, against infantry, but it might not be that kind of exploding shot. I'll uh, check my tech tree, see uh, see what it means. But right now, uh, yeah, you'll notice a bit of uh, cut again because I'm gonna go away and do some other stuff. So be right back. Welcome back to my first ever Let's Play featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. This will be my 11th episode. Now, in this episode, Hanna, I've just defeated a big army under Hanava, and I pretty much crushed all resistance. As you can see here, he does have a uh, few people left in his, uh, well, in the city, and he does have improved fortifications or settlement oh. fortifications over there. So there's still quite a battle to be had. However, I believe. Uh, I believe I pretty much killed him off. There's not that much left. So, there we go. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to wait until my troops are fully retrained before I actually go and attack him. Or maybe... Huh. Yeah, I'll do that. I know it takes a couple of turns, but... I feel like I don't have a choice. Because I lost so many people. There we go, and I'll just send these two guys. To Copenhagen. Now, Russia did send a uh, a navy over here, but uh, oh, okay. He has like four trade ships and only three real combat ships, and of them, no six rates or anything. So that should be very easy for my admiral to handle. Anyway, as you can see, you know, no issue. He has almost no cannons left. These have been without a port for ages. And it's just a complete wipe. He's gone. No more. That was just way too easy. <laughs> so <laughs> That's why I didn't play myself. Just so easy. No. 99 to repair all of them. That's, <laughs> that's a good deal. I'm going to keep my uh, army on uh, the border of Hanover. Uh, he'll probably accrue a few more troops. But, uh, you won't be able to stand up to this army. No way. And since I sent away two cavalry units, I'll send, uh, two more line infantry to join my army. Because it's going to be a siege, so cavalry is not that useful. Line infantry is more useful. Now, let's just see if I can kill the Pond Lithuanian missionary. 31%, that's not good. Oh, but I did it! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, that was funny. Well, it's not funny because I killed someone, but uh, it's, yeah, good. Good stuff. Now, what to do about the treacherous, uh, treacherous Russians? Hmm. They, I mean, they declare war on me for what I figured to be no reason at all. They might have just wanted to use their navy and see what they could do with that. So... Uh, military access for 20 turns, and I, I will give you military access for 5 turns. What? Oh, yes, that's true. You can trade technology in this game. I forgot about that. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, socket bayonet. Yes, please. Now, do I have anything else I can give him? What about money? Do I have any money? No, I don't have any money. I can give him military access. What about I give 20 turns military access? Actually, indefinite because then I can just cancel it. No, 
Too bad. Too bad. I really like pr Prussia. And they're still at war with the United Provinces in Britain, though. Okay, well, what I was supposed to do is try to uh, make a peace agreement with Russia. And uh, still no. Still nothing. Now, I don't want to make peace with uh, Polnithuania yet, because I am going to conquer some of the territory. Uh, by that, I mean Vilnius is what I'm going to take. Which is another big city, and that's cool, because then I'll have four, because uh, at the moment I have three. Copenhagen, Stockholm, and St. Petersburg. Okay, I think... Oh, yes, the New World, of course. What's, uh, what's going on over here? Now, as you could see in my last battle, uh, the w normal cannons actually killed more mo than my howitzers, which is, uh, well, I found that to be quite weird, but that might just be how it works. So, yeah. Hmm. Heavy cavalry. Oh, I'm going to have to look into this after the next match. Fire by rank. Oh, that is so awesome. Yes, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get fire by rank. Classical University. Isn't that what's already in the dance? Yes, it is. Hmm. Ante General. Okay, so you go over there. This guy is a factory master, so he gets technology bonuses. Well, um, industrial technology bonus. As does this guy. So, why we search te no, economical tech over there? See, um, what I'm planning to do right now is to change it so in, um, you know, dance, I do five by rank, because it's a better university, it'll take less time. In uh, Yetheborg, I do Division of Labor, and in Uppsala, I do, well, I finish that one, and then I'll maybe do Carcass Shot. However, in Yetheborg, after that one, I'm going to do a bunch of uh, industrial tech. Which is why I'm changing around my gentleman quite a bit. Now I'm just gonna see if I have any more gentlemen, or if three is all I have. Three is all I have, okay. There's one more turn, yes, one more turn until this, uh, until Ingria, or St. St. Petersburg is 100% Protestant. When that happens, I'll send it back to Courland, because uh, he did some damage over there, he made a few of them into Catholics, and I don't want that. So, next turn, da -da -da, yes, got a couple of ships here, they will be able to reach Trinidad and Tobago within one turn, so this shouldn't be a problem. Now, I have not heard anything about from anyone about these, uh, uh, about watching the enemy movement, so I'm going to keep doing that. Only if I just take Königsberg or East Prussia, as the province is called. Oh, and here we go. Okay, so uh, oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I was supposed to retreat. Uh, it wouldn't be enough though. He would still be able to reach it. So retreat, retreat. I have so many fleets here. Oh. Ships. Yes, yes, yes. Kill all my ships, you bastard. I'll send my fleet over there to deal with you. Actually, I need my fleet in uh, in Europe. So that was a bad idea. And the pirates got crushed. Huh. Well then. Oh, and Hanover, of course. As, as you can see, he does have... Uh, I, I have no idea how he can have that big an army. I just crushed a whole army. And he still has a lot of units. How can you afford it with just one province? It's ridiculous. Uh, Morgan is still over here. Oh, he has a f an old oh, fifth rate. Sweet. And a galleon. Ah, yes, another port. I don't think I need any more military ports, to be honest, or military shipyards. However, uh, doesn't it give any economical advantages as well? No. That's that one. Sweet wealth. Uh, I have two there. 
in Denmark. I have one in Ingria. And I'm planning to get a second one. No, actually I'm not going to get a second one in Ingria. I'll get one in Colon. Why not? No. Yes, yeah, so that's the pirates. That's the new port. That's fleet destroyed and fleet destroyed. Okay. Now. A Whoa, he assassinated a gentleman. Oh, no, 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 no. That was my industrial genius guy. Well, no, that's this one, but still, a smart guy. Oh. His taxes turn off somewhere, I think I saw. I think I saw, yes, in Courland and Denmark. Why? Oh, will they be that unhappy? Yeah, they will be. Okay. Wrong button, wrong button. There we go. Okay, so then we'll taxes off here and taxes on in Denmark. That'll be fine. Still one more turn until this one is finished. And the Mughal Empire, yes. They uh, start out big, but uh, now they've been crushed. Just like I am going to crush the pirates. Now, I want a general in the new world, I really do. So I'm going to recruit one. Yeah. I'm going to send all my guys to Trinidad and Tobago. And yes, this is how you can land and take a town in the same turn. And it's, you know, no problem. The only bad thing about this place is it's mostly, mostly Catholic. So I'll have some problems with the religion. Uh, Antigua is mostly uh, Protestant. But uh, Trinidad and Tobago is not. Oh well. Oh, it has a royal palace and an improved settlement fortification. Wow, oh, those pirates are rich. Now this army needs to be replenished, but it doesn't have to be right away. I can still use it on something more important. The money, that is. I don't suppose there's any more neutral territories to capture here. Yeah, there's uh, Georgia and uh, Texas. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for those. I'll go for those. Fight some uh, Native Americans, why not? Oh, and Prussia is getting their answers handed to them by Poland, Lithuania. Lost both Konigsberg and Gdansk. Or East and West Prussia. That's their own. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. I'm looking for his Reich. I know he's around here somewhere. But... I can't see him. Now, I cannot reach that one, so I'll have to use... Pacific. Yeah, I'll just send into the East Indies. I already have trade routes set up there. The pirates have been destroyed. Yes. Yes. I'll keep making Indiaman over here, actually. Now, I want, like I've said earlier, I want uh, trading ports in these ones, actually. So stop fixing that, and I'll make it into a trading port. Uh, this is because that way I can export, like you see, from Antigua. I can export my plantation thingy. My sugar and whatever else I get from my plantations. And, uh, that way I can earn more money from it. And more money is always good. Now, Russia is being a little, a little you know, just poking around a bit. Seeing what's happening. I don't like that. I'm going to recruit a new general over here, and I'm going to take him out. And it looks like this has to be a battle, so I will see you on the battle map.